I hope I don't get copyrighted for the damn music. I hope I don't get copyrighted for it. Get this up. So, I'm chilling today. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another live chat discussion here on EDS Play 101. And today we are going to be doing something that I actually wanted to do for a minute, which is have a live chat discussion about what to expect in episode 9, Bleach the Thousand Year Blood War anime, as well as talk about the name of episode 10. Now, the name of episode 10 is just going to be a guess based on the pattern that I see them doing with the episodes. Because mind you, it was announced that there would be no filler episodes during the entire Thousand Year Blood War. So that's the blessing that we're going to get. So being that that's the case, and there are not going to be any filler episodes, it's a chance that I may not, I don't see them doing something. Because there's 10 episodes that has the same, there's 10 manga chapters that have the same name that I think they're going to compress into one episode, which is basically just the backstory of Ishins and, and um, Masako, who are basically Ichigo's mother and father. Um, so if they're going to compress that whole 10 chapters into one episode, which is probably going to be episode 10, then I can, I I can basically guess that based on what episode nine is going to, you know, based on how they're going to do episode nine. So without further ado, let's get the, uh, get the screen up so I can talk to you guys. So first off, we're going to be taking a look at, let's see, let me close that, open that, boom. So, if you guys are interested in reading manga and anything like that, this is just, you know, to help you guys out, go to chap man chapmanganello.com. Let me just type that in the in the text because you probably don't even know what I'm saying. Let's get that for you. This this is chap manganello. That right there. That's the name of it. Chat Manganello. If you want to, if, if you want to read manga, if you're interested in reading a thousand year, reading a thousand year Blood War yourself, or at least up until the point where the anime is, then we're gonna talk about that. Just keep it in, in mind. But that's the website that I use right now to read manga and uh, things like that. Chat Manganello. So they, there you go. So that being said, but I'm gonna leave that up there. So episode eight of the Thousand Year Blood War was called Shooting Star Project Zero Mix. Now, this was actually named after episode... This was act, That episode was actually named after manga chapter uh, 518. As you see right here. I don't know how well you guys can see that in the, in the thing. I think you should be able to see it pretty good. Um, but it, yeah, it's named after chapter 518 and it actually covers episode it, and that episode actually covers chapters 515 all the way into 519 so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 chapters that episode 8 uh, covers so when you look at Relics which is the one I'm on right now chapter 515 you know this is when of course Rukia and everybody's there in the um, in the hospital. Unohana and Asane there in squad there in Squad One barracks. You know they're analyzing the big hole that was made when Yamamoto was killed by Yuha. And of course they're going down the list. You know they're showing everybody who's in an intensive care unit. Uh, and then with Mayuri, he gets an announcement that the Zero Squad is coming down to. Uh, talk to everybody. Of course, this is uh, the first little part of the episode right there where uh, where Shinsui comes in as the current captain commander. At, at this point, I don't think he's been sworn in yet as the current captain commander. I think that, that happens later on. Um, but uh, 
but yeah this is only one piece of the episode from episode 8 but this is chapter uh, chapter 5 uh, 15 now chapter 5 16 I, I believe this is when let's see we gotta wait for this to load up I'm going kind of fast of course yeah here it is this is chapter 5 16 is where is where Mayuri explains to Ichigo that his Bankai can't be repaired um, it can't go back to what it was and then of course we got Squad Zero coming down in, in the Tenshiru in episode 516 which happens of course and it stops as, and the chapter actually stops as soon as they pop out of the uh, Tenshiru pillar so that's 516 but of course just going ahead the episode Eight, it actually stops in chapter 5 19 where Ichigo uh, Byakuya, Renji and uh, Rukia um, they're all in the hot springs soaking and of course the soul king he shows himself for like the first time in, ever I think in, in the anime so he's right there and that's where the episode ends for five, uh, for episode eight, episode five nineteen. Now going into episode five twenty, which obviously is what they're so first and foremost, episode nine is actually named the drop, and this, and that episode is named after episode, uh, that episode is named after chapter five hundred twenty four, and during this little between 520 right and 527 I believe what they're going to do and we're going to look at the chapters we're going to look at the chapters to make sure because you know I, I haven't read the manga in some years so I'm, I'm kind of going off of memory here uh one of the Zero Division members, the one who taught Unohana her healing techniques, that's this guy, Tenjiro Kirinji, during episode 8, he actually told her that healing isn't what she needs to be focusing on. And basically what he is explaining to her is that she needs to get back to being the bloodthirsty Kenpachi that she once was now for those of you that was probably one of the biggest secrets that people already told I'm seeing videos all over where people are going to read the manga for the first time ever and they're making videos on it so it's not a secret no more Unohana was the first Kenpachi out of all of them she was the very first that, that Kenpachi lineage started with her and her original name is Yachiru Unohana and she was the original captain of squad 11 um before she you know changed her mind later on down the line and became uh the healer and the head of squad what four so and she changed her name to retsu because she no longer felt like she was the person she was before so for these chapters this is going to be about the battle between unohana and kimpachi zaraki if I'm not mistaken, and I think this is also the chapter where Shinsui gets sworn in. I mean, of course, they're going back to Ichigo healing. Ichigo gets punched in the face when dude thinks that uh, Ichigo thinks he's not being healed. He's wasting time in the water. Where uh, and uh, Tenjiro punches him. <laughs> And basically tells him, no, you're healed. You know, if you weren't, you'd be dead with this. So, I'm, I'm kind of just skimming over it because I don't want to really spoil too much. But of course, Renji, he's feeling better, but he's definitely not in a, in any condition. Mind you, his Zanbakuto is broke. When Master Masculine, uh, Sternritter S, drop kicked him down when uh, Byakuya was facing Asnot. His, uh his uh, Zanbakuto uh, Zabimaru broke it shattered so he doesn't even have a Bankai right now 
so he's basically asked out but as i stated before if you've seen my past lives i've stated before you guys are going to find out in, in later chapters that Renji's Bankai or Renji's Zongbakso doesn't trust him. And uh, that's going to lead to a new development. And I'm going to just leave it at that. But, um, yeah, so this is just an example of basically what I talked about again in the last live chat in regards to Bleach, where for Tenjiro's Hot Springs, that if you're not a person that has a considerable amount of Ryatsu, it's basically going to tear you apart. And if you're one of those people who the spring waters would tear apart, you have to wear a special clothing that is going to protect you from that, um, from that, uh, the hot spring basically killing you. Because the hot springs are extremely powerful. So, okay, so I, I was right. This is the, this, uh, this next episode is actually going to be when Shinsui gets sworn in as you know he hands to the he heads to the Central 46 and they swear him in as the captain as the new captain commander so and he also issues the order you see right here he issues the order for basically Unohana to train Kenpachi Zaraki and it's a reason for that so I'm not going to go too far. I think that's it right there. So they're, going, they're actually going to reveal it this episode, right? <laughs> you see it right there. It, it, there's the, there's the big reveal. So they're actually going to reveal it this upcoming episode. Unohana, her real name, Yachiru Unohana, the first Kenpachi. You know, her hair has been tied up the entire time to hide a scar. Now, you've seen the scar if you paid attention to episode seven. Um, there was a woman who, now I can't play it here for the sake of, you know, copyright issues because they copyright you so quick on YouTube because I am going to upload it there. But she has a scar that she's been covering up. This goes back to the very first time uh, Zaraki and, and Yachiru had their the very first time they fought where Zaraki was actually stronger than her at that time when he was younger um and she has a scar on her chest where she got stabbed by him and pretty much she uh she's covered she, she kind of covers it up all that little silliness so that's the first chapter 520 now I think it's going to end now without going too far cause like I said the chapter ends so that's the first chapter 520 now i think it's going to end now without going too far because like i said the chapter ends i mean the episode episode 9 is named after the drop which is chapter 524 and without spoiling everything that happens in the episode i believe this is when yeah okay so I don't want to spoil that like y'all seen enough I'm not here to spoil I'm just here to inform so episode 520 to 527 so there's going to be 7 so there's going to be 8 chapters so from my understanding if they're doing things the way that I think Episode 9, The Drop, is actually going to cover the next 8 chapters, which is going to cover a few things. Shinsu is going to get sworn in as the Captain Commander by the Central 46. Yachiru, uh, Unohana's true identity that she's been hiding this entire time is going to be revealed. Yachiru Unohana, the first Kenpachi. His first order is that she, he's going to order her to basically get Kenpachi Zaraki uh, his Shikai basically to help him prepare for the battle because as strong as Zaraki is he needs to be stronger and only she can help him with that because of their history that they have you know he's not going to take anybody else seriously uh, if they uh, fight so this episode this entire time is going to be about him getting that power 
and they're going to fight. Yachiru is going to activate her Bankai. Her Bankai is going to be revealed. Um, in the manga, they don't actually reveal what her Bankai does. That might change in the anime, but it doesn't reveal necessarily what it does. Um, so you guys are going to see that tomorrow in uh, episode 9. So... If, in fact, they do do that, and I don't see any reason why they wouldn't, considering how they've been kind of clustering multiple chapters in one episode. Episode 9 is going to be covering 8 chapters from 520 to 527. And that's basically going to cover the the entire fight. So we're not going to have to wait another episode for for that to conclude. So once Kenpachi gets his... Gets his Bankai. I'm not well, not his Bankai, because he that happens so far down the line. Um, when he gets his Shikai, that's gonna. I believe that's what's gonna conclude episode. Uh, episode nine. Now, when it comes to episode ten. Now, this is kind of what I'm guessing, right? The name of episode 10 is going to be Everything But The Rain. As you notice, there's 10 chapters of Everything But The Rain. Now, what this covers is the backstory between Ishin and Masako, right? But I'm kind of feeling like they won't do this. Due to the fact that the backstory of Lloyd Lloyd and Roy Lloyd was completely skipped. So they may consider these 10 chapters as filler. Uh, The backstory of it, it's kind of important. But it is filler though. It's, It's going back to tell the story of... how Ichigo got white inside him you know that hollow that's inside him and there's a big secret with that hollow too that y'all gonna find out during the blood war you know um his real name and y'all gonna find out who old man Zengetsu really is too like it's big bro but in the event that they in any the event that they're gonna treat these next ten episodes after episode nine, these next ten chapters. In the event that they're gonna treat episode ten or use episode ten to tell the story of these next ten chapters, everything but the rain, then it's gonna tell the backstory of who Ichigo's mother is. But that would kind of be considered filler, I guess. And so they might not do it. In the event that they do not do that, the episode 10 may be named... Actually, I wouldn't even know. Probably standing on the edge. I see them using everything but the rain to to tell the story of episode 10. Even though it, they, they're, they're kind of keeping the, the action, they, they want to keep the main story going. But episode, but chapter 528 actually kicks off the story of how White came to be, how Miseko uh, meets Ishin, um, the fight that they had alongside to try to kill White. Um, how it infected Misago and also committed um, caused soul suicide on her uh, you know like it's a lot so I have to put I have to put it into perspective that um, that's what they're going to do episode 10 is looking like everything but the rain but if they decide they want to skip that entire story we probably going to get either Probless Progress, The Sword 5, or Standing on the Edge as the name of Episode 10. 
Um, and I'm pretty sure, matter of fact, you know what, now that I think about it, episode 10 might be named The Blade Is Me. Because that's when Renji gets his sword. If I'm not mistaken, this is the chapter. Let me see. No, this is the chapter where old man Zangetsu reveals himself to Ichigo and kind of explains to him why he gave him such a hard time. So they may skip that entire that is all 10 of those chapters for episode 10 so in the event that episode 10 is called everything but the rain they're going to compress all 10 of these chapters in that one episode but if they skip this backstory which they might do the name of the name of uh, the next episode just might be the blade is me because that's an important part of Either the blade in me too, or the blade is me. Cause this is one hell of a backstory. As you see right here, all the memories related to the two of them come back from within him. Yes, there were no lies. This is an uh, old conversation that they had. Neither yours nor yours. You saved me using the Quincy shadow. You stopped me. You stopped my blood using Quincy's blood. You lent me the Quincy's power to help me when I was weak. So he's basically revealing uh, who Old Man Zengetsu is. And then of course, that's Oetsu, Namaya, helping Ichigo get his, uh, his sword back. It's just him doing that, and I believe Renji's standing next to him. And it's uh, Oetsu's four, four swords, or the sword five. So that's basically it, man. I, I know for a fact that this next episode is going to cover five chapters. Um, excuse me, six chapters. Uh, chapters 520. To 527. Next eight chapters, excuse me. I can't count. I just woke up. Don't kill me. But, um, episode nine is going to cover those eight chapters, which is going to cover the fight between Kenpachi Zaraki, him obtaining his Shikai, him obtaining his Shikai, and uh, Shinsui getting sworn in as the captain commander. The episode, at the episode after that the name of it's either going to be everything but the rain or the blade is me where Ichigo gets his sword rebuilt uh, by Oetsu Namaya, god of the sword um, so that's basically it man uh, they did mention a long time ago that the thousand year blood war anime would not contain any fillers so Everything but the rain might that that backstory might not be told, and it might shoot straight for the the Ichigo Sanbato being rebuilt by Omaya by Oetsu. So if that's the case, then they're really speeding this Thousand Year Blood War up, and I, I'm actually interested in seeing exactly what they're how they're going to utilize it um, so yeah uh, so that ladies and gentlemen that is my explanation of what to expect in episode 9 of Bleach the Thousand Year Blood War and getting and giving my prediction for the name of episode 10 of the Thousand Year Blood War as well so it's going to be one of those Hope you guys enjoyed A Thousand Year Blood War yourself. Episode 9 comes out tomorrow. I will be live streaming it here as a part of my anime binge. Um, and I'll be off that night. So you definitely will be seeing me live stream it. 
So with that being said, man, thank you guys for watching. Peace. I will see you guys later. Remember, be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat. Show no mercy in battle. Make sure to follow me here on TikTok for all your anime bleach um, thousand year blood war coverage as well as anime binges and all that other good stuff. With that being said, peace. We'll see you guys later.